This video will cover framing accessories and tools specifically for use within floor and roof panels. Framing accessories for the floor and roof panels is accessed via the floor panels menu in the modeling tab or via right click and framing accessories. Bracing for instance is added via double clicking the bracing tab you want then selecting the panel. You are then prompted to select the first point which will always be the lower point then up to the higher second point. BD will automatically add in the brace with the relevant connections also added. Next we can look at editing the framing fields function. This can be used to change the direction of the framing and define the field properties amongst other features. A framing field may contain several origins, with the origin points determining where the placing of the joist is started. A joist is always positioned at the origin point. To access this, first select the panel you wish to change to bring up the panel contextual tab in the ribbon. Then choose the fields command. Select the structural layer if necessary. Now select the origin symbol, which is an arrow. If necessary, change the direction of the origin point by using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. Now select a location for an origin point. Before selecting a location, once placed, right click and generate framing. You can also specify details to panel edges. First click on a panel, then click edges in the panel tab. Now select an edge or edges to amend the detail for. Here I select a side joist. Now OK the command, the framing details window will appear. Select user detail. Then choose the new detail from the drop down menu. You can alter parameters if they are available with the parameters button. If not, just click OK to apply the detail. The framing lines function can be used to add additional features between joists in the framing. For example, a blocking line can be added in the following way. Again, have the panel selected, and from the panel tab, choose lines command from the scrolling menu in the framing section. Right click to open the context sensitive menu, and select add blockings. Now select the start point of the line and the end point of the line. Now click the framing detail. You may then need to manually add connections if you have previously edited the panel, or if not, you can right click and generate parts. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.